Hello and welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to learn about relative atomic mass and relative molecular mass. So why we do need relative atomic mass and relative molecular mass? Atoms and molecules are really really tiny particles. So how can we measure their mass? If it is an atom, how can we measure the mass of an atom? And if it is a molecule, how can we measure a mass of a molecule? So always we will compare them with one reference. And as a reference what we have selected? A hydrogen atom and a carbon atom. Here the mass of hydrogen is 1, we know. And the molecule and atomic mass of hydrogen is 1. And the atomic mass of carbon is 12. So accordingly we will calculate the relative mass of any other atom or any other molecule. So how we are going to do it? Let us understand. Atomic weight and we are learning at relative atomic mass. So number of times, number of times one atom of an element, any element you can take, one atom of an element is heavier than the mass of atom of hydrogen. That means if any one atom you are taking of any element, that how many times it is heavier than one atom of hydrogen. For example, any element you are taking, its atom is four times heavier than one atom of hydrogen. So, like that you will compare because they are very tiny. So, we do need to set any reference. For example, one element's atom you have. So, it is five times heavier than a one atom of hydrogen. It is ten times heavier than one atom of hydrogen, like that. So, if you are comparing like that, what are you saying? You are saying that its relative atomic mass is this. Okay. Now this is comparison against hydrogen atom. If we will compare against carbon, how does it change? Number of times one atom of an element is heavier than the one twelfth the mass of carbon. Why we have taken here one twelfth? Because the carbon's one atom's mass is 12. So that's why we do have to need 1 twelfth the mass of carbon atom. That means if you are taking any element's atom that is 3 times heavier than 1 twelfth of mass of carbon atom. So if you are doing like this, what you are going to, what you are searching? You are searching a relative atomic mass for that particular now we have discussed here about atom. How atom and molecules are different? So if you are talking about hydrogen, that is atom. If you are talking about H2, that is molecule. So this is a basic difference between atom and molecule. So many atoms are combining together and make one molecule. Now we are going to see about Molecular weight and relative molecular mass. Same way. How we have compared atoms? The same way we are going to compare molecules. So, if any particular molecule you are taking, so how much its molecule's mass is compared to the one atom of hydrogen? Here, again, then mass of hydrogen atom and mass of an atom of carbon. Here we are taking atom only. If we are checking about molecule, we are not taking molecule of hydrogen and molecule of carbon. We are comparing the atoms and molecules against the atom of hydrogen and carbon. So relative molecular mass and relative atomic mass. Both the mass we will compare against the atom of hydrogen and atom of carbon. If you are checking for relative 
molecular mass we are not taking molecules of hydrogen and molecules of carbon so number of time one molecule of the substance is heavier than the mass of one atom of hydrogen number of times the one molecule of substance is heavier than one twelfth the mass of an atom of carbon why here it is one twelfth because one carbon atom's mass is 12. So that's why we do have to take 1 12. So this is a comparison for relative atomic mass and relative molecular mass.